Um, I would say the best thing about owning a 30 minute hit franchise is my flexibility in my lifestyle. I'm a mom, I get to spend lots of time with them, which I absolutely love. That was my whole goal when I first opened. But also the people and the connections that I've made, like everybody in my life is basically from the 30 minute hit network, like all my friends, like I just love everybody. Um, the best thing about owning my franchise, Fast Signs, is being a part of a bigger family and being a part of not only within the Fast Signs franchise family, which is amazing, but being a part of the whole uh, industry of franchising. Um, I love I love the challenges every day about having my own business, but I also like the support and the backup that I get with the Fast Signs family. Uh, before I found 30 Minute Hit, I was actually in commercial real estate and property management, you know, going to work, doing the nine to five thing. Hated it. I love the people I work with, but hated the actual job. Um, when I became a member, fell in love with it, and it's completely changed my life. You know, I don't get up and dread what I'm doing. I don't come home and complain to my husband about my day or my coworkers. I was in advertising for 18 years before opening our first Fast Signs in Culver City, California. So having that background of the strategic marketing um, and understanding the value of a brand and building up a brand and doing all this sort of stuff really helped me in my business because that's what we do at Fast Signs. We're actually, you know, at the end of the day we make signs, but our approach with a client is really coming alongside them and being more of a consultative partner to their success, understanding what they're trying to accomplish um, from a brand standpoint and being able to deliver that in an impactful, tangible way. So for someone considering a franchise for their first time, I would recommend doing some homework and finding out what you're interested in and make sure it's something that aligns with their values and make sure it's something that they can be excited about. They need to talk to a lot of franchisees in the brand and really find out how long it takes to start making money to pay yourself a wage. You may be able to make payroll, you may be able to make rent, but if you can't pay yourself and you can't pay your own mortgage, then the business isn't gonna last. I, the best advice that I can give anybody that's actually exploring the franchising industry is do your research. Really look at the brands that you're interested in. Make sure that it aligns with your value system, but also make sure that when you invest in them, that they invest in you. And that's truly, that's the word that you need to think about, that you're investing in a franchise system. You're giving your time and your talents and your family's fortune, so to speak, and you're giving it to them and you're hopefully gonna double down. And we're here in Vegas, so you're gonna double up on your uh, your investment and in your, in your, in what you're doing, the bet that you're making.